And that brings me on to his second attribute, which was bridging pro-Africa ideologies. I would characterize Peter as a pan-Africanist and an Afro-optimist who was able to create a bridge between a wide spectrum of thinkers from liberals to radical Marxists. Now in his recently published book, Know the Beginning Well, K.Y. Amwako describes the challenges he faced after leaving the World Bank for Addis Ababa to take up the role of executive secretary of, of the ECA, where he found his efforts, he says, blocked by anti-bank antagonists. And K.Y. lists Peter as one of four key decision makers and confidants who had his complete trust as he worked to set and achieve new goals for the ECA. But to his cre credit, in as much as his, it was his duty to keep open broad lines of communication for all who could contribute to bringing change to Africa and to um, supporting KY as he tried to bring on board those in the organization who still remained faithful to the ideologies associated with his predecessor. Adebayo. At the same time, Peter wasn't afraid to bring to Addis left-leaning radicals who could give some bite to the policies of the ECA, an example being the work of the Africa Mining Vision, which stands out, which, which shines. 